Because uh, I, I told you about this. We were driving to Delaware. Yeah. And a commercial came on, and it said something like, and then he broke in, he, he you know, molested her, killed her, and he worked for uh, a major, you know, appliance place. And then they cut in and go, well, <laughs> when we put in our heaters, we do background checks. What they were doing was trying to sell their heaters, but they're, I, I can't explain it. I know, you know. The company oh was, was, was they were selling God. heaters. Yeah, did you hear? And as part of the ad, they were using a guy from another company who had raped and uh, killed a girl. Did you hear this? No, but I'm uh, I'm uh, just I'm 39, so I know how to <laughs> piece the story together. Yeah, we heard enough where we could like help you out is what uh, and, Jimmy's getting at. And they they found a way to use a rapist murderer from another company in yeah. their own ad. Yeah, like uh, we, we we won't rape and kill you. We yes. do background checks. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty smart, actually. <laughs> All right, I I got no idea where you were going. I was panicked. Maytag, I was won't rape panicked. <laughs> Yeah, you for really, a moment. You really freaked us all out. Thank God Jimmy was able to decipher that. You yes. speak idiot. I, I, I <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking idiot, we got a little quiz for you. A little, little pop quiz, Rich. This early? Hope you're up yes. for it. Yes. Right. Yes, this early. Go ahead. We're going to find out if you're smarter than a, uh, a fifth grader. Oh, please, where's the fifth grader? Huh? Yeah, where? Well, we don't know. <laughs> Uncle Paul. Well, we got a test, right? This, Vera. this is a test that a, that a fifth grader would take, right? Yeah. And we hand it over to you, and you uh, and you're gonna like uh, answer these questions. Uh, no problem. Don't you think we should have a little more time for this? Yeah, I'm gonna little... give it to you now, and after the break, you should be done. It's only ten questions. You mean well, I have you... to answer them? You're not no. gonna ask them as we go? Now you don't need. You don't need to wait. We don't need to wait. We don't have to study this. This is not. Uh, these are all yes and no kind of answers. All right. Finish the following sentence, Rich. I before E except after. I before E except after C. All right, good. Was that right? Out. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, but right. that rule doesn't always work. I hate before. that rule. No, it's a dumb rule. It's like, oh, except when I'm spelling something. Right. Then it's wrong and I look like an idiot. I don't idiot. want to mislead anybody. I'm not a great speller. So that was, I just don't want to mislead what? everybody with answering that one. What? I spelled my daughter's name wrong. I got to change her name. Oh, the, I, I saw Rich Voss's daughter uh, backstage. He he was part of Dennis Leary and Friends last week. And uh -huh. by the way, Rich was awesome on that stage. Once again, you were Thank great. You. Had a great set. But they went backstage and and saw uh, your Raina. baby girl uh -huh. and uh, said congratulations to Bonnie. And uh, she's beautiful, by the way. Your your baby girl's beautiful. Thank you. And then I found out that he uh, he effed up her name. What's what's her name? Well, see, here's what happened. I was looking up biblical names. Why? And you're not I, religious. I know, but it's just you're good. You're not a man of so God. How is Ezekiel doing? <laughs> so, 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 God, he called her. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw, well, the first name I saw was Basha, and nobody liked Basha. Basha? I, Basha. How yeah. can they? Isn't Basha that, Voss? Like that? Well, Basha we didn't, Voss? I didn't name her. So, Basha! Come here, Basha. It's right on the globe. Yeah. It's where Basha lives. Yeah, Basha. That's so, awful. Wow. Continue. Okay, so Reina. So I saw Reina. Reina's pure. not bad. Okay. Reina. Uh, oh, thank you. So it was R-E-Y-N-A. It meant pure and clean. Uh, biblical, pure and clean, you know, Yiddish name. So like three weeks later, we had the baby, and they asked to spell the name, and I just go R-A-Y-N-A. -A. So now I have a Spanish queen. That's right. You won't be the first Spanish queen you've had. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you supposed to spell it? R A? Well, I spell it R-A-Y-N-A, -A, but i got to go right. change it to R-E-Y-N-A at some point. Yeah, well, why don't you go do that um, soon? Uh, no big deal. Let's go to Jay in D.C. Jay, what's up? Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, uh, I'm a little confused. How is it that if there's no rules against what some of the things you guys say, that they dump out of what you say? I don't get it. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, well, we don't you either. Guys, you, guys say, you guys say funny things, and there's no FCC rule against what you're saying that you're being dumped out on. And, I mean, can't you guys do anything to, to... Well, I'll say this. The one they just dumped... Is an FCC concern? Yeah, yeah I understand that. And I, I have Don't scream at me, sir. I'm trying to converse with you. Sorry, you're humiliating me. Yeah, well, uh, there uh, lies the problem that we're trying to figure out ourselves, there, Jay. So, yeah. I, I don't it's have really an answer. I, I don't have yes. an answer for you. It, it used to be you just had to worry about FCC yeah. regulations, but it's a, it's a, it's much more complicated than that these days. 
There you go. All right, boys, keep it up. All, All right. right. Oh, he didn't mention I closed the show last week at the. Uh, speaking. All right, go ahead. Question number two. Uh, uh, what direction do you have to travel to go from St. Louis to Kansas City? I don't a, know that one either. This is a test that a uh, fifth grader would take. From uh, from St. Louis to Kansas City, you'd have to go uh, east. All right, very good. That's one wrong. <laughs> well, it depends. If you're going around the world, you'd go east. That's a long way. Uh, what is the symbol between the parentheses called? It's the symbol that looks like the Procter and Gamble. Yeah, it means uh, it, or A T N T. It like looks like a General Mills. It's a General, yeah, Mills, General Mills symbol. Mills. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yes. It, it, yeah, it's that thing in the AT and T logo. Yeah, there's a name for that. Yes, that the thing. Basha. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Basha. What is it called? Well, let's go with two wrong. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> he just let the pitch go by. Ball <laughs> strike on himself. <laughs> we would have accepted the and sign. What is it called, though? Uh, the ampersand or whatever. Who knows oh, that? A fifth grader can't say that, well, at least the ones I've met. All right, not bad. You're, once uh, you've met, can't one even out say of no. Three. One out of three so far, uh, Voss. In dry weight, how many ounces are in a pound? 16. There you go. That's easy, right? Yeah, I used to sell pot, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's why he knows. Yep. Ask what? me grams, ounces. All right. Which of the following invention, inventions was not invented in China? You got uh, gunpowder, you got cultured pearls, you got kites, and you got paper. One of those was not invented in China. Mm. Oh. <laughs> gunpowder, uh, cultured pearls, kites, paper. Okay. I think I got this one. I know disease wouldn't be the answer. Uh, I would have to go with... Uh, Wait, what? There's a lot Wait, of disease. <laughs> How did that happen when no one even pushed a button? I don't know. God did it. <laughs> what are you talking uh, about? Disease. It's not even one of the. Oh, was, I'm trying to throw some SARS funny. joke or something like yeah, that. Thank yeah, thank you. I get you. Uh, it's not one of the okay, choices. Okay, I didn't hear the uh, gunpowder, paper, kites. Kites like you fly a kite. Yeah. You are you looking at my answers over no, there? I swear to God, I'm not. I couldn't see that far anyhow. All right. Uh, or what was the fourth one? Gunpowder, kites, paper, cultured pearls. Oh, cultured pearls. Uh. What? That's right. Yeah. I just wanted to be wrong. All right. <laughs> we'll take the second half of the quiz after. I would have right. said paper. You know, and here's another thing, too. You could, ask, you could ask me any of these like questions great. this weekend at the brokerage, and I guarantee mm. in Long Island I won't get any of them wrong. You really want these people to ask these questions? At the brokerage? A, no. Are you crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you understand what our fans are capable of doing? So you know, answering as poorly as he did. <laughs> Daddy, so I'm two out of, what am I, two and two? Uh, you have three right out of five. That's not bad. So you're it's barely almost, passing, I guess? No. Is 60 a passing grade? No. Uh, no, it's not 60. It's oh, D. it is. All right, you're around a D right now. We got the last five questions after the break, okay? okay? Pick it up, pick it up. It's Opie and Anthony. By the way, I've never wanted to punch someone more than you. Are you talking to me? Yes. What, what did I do? Is it, do, do, do you don't even have to say. You're driving me nuts. Am I breathing into the thing? Are oh you Oh, my breathing? God. All right, yeah, that's I'm going to punch you All right, and relax. break that nose and back into shape so, so maybe some. Maybe oh. we don't hear. Well, here's I can't thing. even do it. Okay, first. It's so hard. To, <laughs> you're going to blow. Don't do that. It's going to come pull, out. Just blow a snot rocket. Oh, God. Okay, how do you bring Oh, it my God. I want to right, punch I you could, so bad. Please let me punch you in the face. Please. <laughs> don't sue me. I need a punch. Oh, there it is. There it is. You got to be on top of the mic. Here it is. Watch. It won't happen again. You know what it was? You sound like a bull. You know what it was? It was cushioned a Nicorette gum in my mouth. I was trying to breathe through my nose. No, it happens every time you're here, and you, no. don't, you don't realize you do it. So I'll back up a little. It's not like I'm on a mic every day. I mean, radio mic every day like you guys. We're broadcasting from a, a, a wind tunnel. All right, you want to punch me? Oh, God, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I won't do too much damage, I promise. I won't, I won't take out your nose or your jaw. Bust your snot like it. You brag right. about your abs. Let me punch you as hard as I can. Oh, why would I? What am I, crazy? Tell Houdini gonna... died. Yeah, man. Don't do that. <laughs> Houdini was actually killed in a bus accident. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he said that so, uh, uh, as a matter of factly, yeah. like like it was true. All right, listen. I'm very All sure. Right. Can I say this? Let's just say I did things last night when I was alone, and it hurts. 
Ew. Oh, no. You mean right there where your hand is? Yeah, ow. Oh, ow. Chafing. Ow. Why did you, um... You did what they dumped out of. <laughs> during that... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> during that long, long bit How long with no take payoff. You? How Thank you. How long should it take you? How long should it take you to do that? It can be hours or it can be... It depends on the... What I'm doing and what's what's the mental angle? So really? <laughs> mental angle. Why uh, why a problem today? Just because of the amount of time? No, just because uh, I I don't know. It's just sore, just sore. When you're done, do you go right to your computer and erase all your history? So oh, reset on my <laughs> Safari. I have a Mac. Why, do, why don't you just say, Rich? When I'm done, I go to my history and erase everything. Exactly. Like it's like when you're done, do you do this? Well, you're afraid, I'm not afraid gay sites are gonna pop up when my wife goes to use the computer. I think Jimmy's a rookie. Are you kidding me? Of course I do. Reset, empty cache. Jimmy, empty has, cache. Jimmy throws his empty com- history, empty recent documents. Oh yeah, believe it. Empty recent worse. files. There's nothing worse. Then when you're with somebody and you forget that when you go to open like a video, it will like list the other videos yeah. that you've opened. And boy, you have to some quick erasing to do when she's over <laughs> your shoulder. Right now, let me just close this for a second. <laughs> no, because I'm auditioning for a movie called. and I'm trying to get the role down. So you're telling. You What's the audition. movie called? Tranny it's Follies. Called, <laughs> I'm, I'm a big black man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, Jimmy basically throws computers away once a week at this point. <laughs> I was when I live with this girl. Just we, to be safe. Just to be safe. We bought a box of toys. Boys, you know, when I would live with a girl, you know that. Yeah. You know, and when she moved out, I, they were still there. And then I and I'm looking at it. I go, I got to throw these out because if I have a heart attack and my family <laughs> cleans out the house, they're gonna really think I'm gay. You know what I mean? Yeah. They see that, you know, so, fluorescent, you know, marital aids. <laughs> marital yeah. Aids. Around the around the house. You want more of your quiz there, uh, Voss? Yes, I do. Playing the brokerage when? This weekend. Yeah. Starting what, Thursday? Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Long Island, Belmar. And here's another thing. I'll take it. My IQ, I'll take an IQ test here. I got a, I'm, I'm 141 on my IQ. You're not 140. Oh, you're leaving out a decimal point. I'm telling you, I'm 141. <laughs> you're not my 141. IQ. I'll do an IQ test here Is one that day. Good? 141. It's, I'm, Is 141 good? <laughs> That's uh, great. Yeah, but he's not. I think 150 is genius. I'm 141. You're not, not 141. 141. If you were 141, then you could pass this quiz IQ's, easily. IQs are different than... All right, but, like it's, but it's just... Not, all right, here's your next question. Are you smarter than a fifth grader, Rich Voss? This is a fifth grade exam. In square inches, what is the surface area of a cube with five-inch sides? Uh, how many inches would that be in square inches? Five times five would be 25. All right. Wait, I don't even know if that's right. Yeah, it's right. Of course I, it's I, mean, not. I don't know if it is. Of course it's not right. Wait, wait. No. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> five times five times five. No, wait. What you... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. In square inches, what is the surface area of a cube with five-inch sides? How do you... Oh, 20 inches. How do you know how big it is, though? It's square inches... You you don't know how big the cube is to begin with. Hold on, five inch sides. So you got five times five, twenty five, mm-hmm. and then times that by five six. to the fourth power. Oh no, that's oh. right by six. Yeah, I thought it was right. like five saying it had five sides. I, didn't uh, know that I, one. I, I thought it's you were cube. saying how many square <laughs> inches in a five by five inch. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, it pretty You're much wrong. is how many square inches of surface area. On a five, uh, on a cube or on a flat a cube oh, with on a cube. cube. Well, it said well let's cube. say it's wrong. One twenty. Let's say I got it, it wrong. is wrong. Let's say hi to Sean in North Carolina. Go oh ahead, Sean. Uh, yeah, one forty one, uh, boss. That's not your IQ, son. That's your SAT score. <laughs> hey, little Jimmy. Hi, sir. Oh, uh, sorry about that. All right, the next question for you, What's Rich Moss. It was one hundred fifty. Oh, really? Yeah. No fifth graders get You that, have to right? take the 25 and then uh, times that by six, like I said. How do you get 25, though? Five because five times, times five. five. It's a five-inch uh, square on each side of the cube. But if it's a square, why would you go five times? Like, but Because it's five inches across and five inches down. Oh, I'm okay. Five times five. Okay, you know, five uh, times uh, what fifth grader? A fifth grader goes to like As I do this a with Mensa, my hand for some Mensa reason. school or something gets that right? Well, yeah, I guess, Rich. You're right. right. Uh, what event took the world to the brink of World War III in 1962? You know, oh, you were oh that was school, the, Bay, you get this. the Bay of Pigs in, in, in Cuba. Oh, my oh, my God. Oh, no, the Ru- Russian Missile Crisis. With- oh, my <laughs> God. We didn't know it was no World the War Russian, III. Didn't the Russian Missile Crisis last 
all the way up until like the Cold War ended. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, in '62 when Kennedy was president, yeah. yeah. What almost brought us to the brink of war? You said, yeah. World War Three. Almost. Yes. Well, it didn't happen, so it had to be. Almost. Well, it's yeah. the brink. <laughs> I love how, saying it's the brink. I love means how he tries almost. to show his intelligence by going almost, right? Yes. Almost, almost to the brink. Almost, almost to the brink. So almost. Brink, isn't that where you skate? <laughs> no, that's, that's, what, that's what you do with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> Steve from Bayshore is writing, Voss times dumb times ass. <laughs> it's making a little formula. Yeah. In 1962, what almost brought us to World War Three? It had to be uh, uh, the Bay of Pigs in Cuba when... Uh, no, when, it's not the Bay of Pigs. No, 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 no a Billy oh, Joel wait. song. 50, I was born. Okay, wait, no. Bernie Gets, five age years, crack, homeless vets. No. Five years old. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You were five in '62. It, it, I think, but you, it, you know, you're now an adult, and you should know what happened in '62. I know it. In '62, mm-hmm. uh, <sighs> Malcolm or one of them. They weren't shooting. Them. No, that. How that would, would that be World War Three? No, Malcolm in the middle. Malcolm wasn't was assassinated <laughs> by a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got? Oh, didn't God. get him. I, I, think, I love how he. This is, comes right on the heels of his 141 IQ. Yeah. Exactly. What, what's your official answer? My official. Yeah. Can I your give final you answer. Your final answer. Let's go. My final. Uh, 62. What happened in 62? Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 The Six Day War. No, that was in. Uh, Oh my uh, God! What was the Six Day War? We're talking about the brink Korea. of World War Three, complete Korea. annihilation of the globe. And you're, and you're naming all these innocuous things. Yeah, that cab driver got robbed in <laughs> Tel Aviv. No, Rich. <laughs> what is it? Can we come back to any of these? <laughs> no. What is it? It's to revisit them. What is it? Come on, Rich. Yeah, I. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. Ca- it's something to do with uh, Kennedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I don't want to. I don't want. Uh, Come on, Martin Luther King Jr. Yep, 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 it comes the gong. Uh, you know, um, and when, I hear it, when I hear it, oh, I'm going to go. We'll need an answer. Oh, yeah. that's what's going to happen. It. All right, well, here's. It was the Cuban Missile Crisis with Kennedy. Oh. Did you say that? I said that was the first thing I said. No, was it? That was the first Was it? The first one you said was Bay of Pigs. You yeah, said Bay of the Pigs. Same thing. Then that you was said. The Cuban missile. You said the Russian. No, I said you go play the, the Bay of Pigs. Pigs was the, not the Cuban different, Missile Crisis. Different things, it's, Rich. It, Bay of Pigs was, it was going to invade to get Cuba, Castro out. Yeah. Well, I said the Cuban Missile Crisis. Play the tape back. You said you the Russian Cuba. missile. No, I crisis. said I will You bet said the $200. Russian missile crisis. Two hundred dollars. I'll bet more than that because I I know I heard it. I'm just being nice. Russian missile I, I, crisis. I, I, but I am almost, you got singles in there. Why are you he looking? He said it wrong money? because he's no. an adult. But I think I have to give that one to Voss. He knew what it was. He's yeah. just not. An we're playing man. by no. We're playing by the uh, the rules of uh, you right. know uh, uh, wheel of fortune. Uh, <laughs> I'm not betting. I, I got a hundred dollars, right? Oh yeah, you can't gamble. Well, it's he, not gamble. How about it's you, a bet. How about uh, if I'm right, I get to punch you? No, that's and gambling. If, if you're wrong, I get to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, do we give it to him? I, I guess we have he to. He just said it wrong. He's a he's a he's not an articulate oh. man. All right, we'll give it to you. That's I mean, but your first answer was wow. Bay of Pigs. Your second answer was Russian Missile Crisis. It is the Cuban Missile Crisis. I I I have a non-vote in this. Well, here's what I say. Forget that question. Dissent. Find another question. All right, here we well, only got three questions left to see if you could pass a, a a fifth grade test. What is the verb of the following sentence? The goat ran into the barn. Boom. The beyond. Uh, the goat ran. Ran. Is ran. that your final answer? Yeah, ran. All right, very good. Spell the opposite of vertical. Horizontal. Perfect. I got to spell it? <laughs> yes, you got to spell it. <laughs> oh, but where are these questions? Yeah, I don't know where these questions are. I only have 10. I only have up it, to 10. It, we jazzed it up because some of those questions were kind of like... Yeah, they were lame. Horizontal. I'm sorry, we got a revised quiz. Wait, hold on. Horizontal. Okay. Uh, horizontal, H-O-R-I-Z-O-N-T-A-L. Nope. E. 
<laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> I, I gave him the the hand, like the, the hand, like you know. Come on, you're almost there. One more e. letter. He goes e. e. <laughs> Tell me, I love you. I really do. Bonnie's a lucky woman. Well, uh, I was right though, Horace. Yeah, we'll give that one to you. I, I effed you up by going. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. And finally, who was the U.S. president when um, World War II ended? Get this right, you'll get a 70 on the test. Ooh. It's either Roosevelt or Eisenhower. Okay. Uh, I would have to you say. You almost said Eisenheimer, like said, Weisenheimer. You're such an old no, man. No, I didn't. I, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was Roosevelt. All right, very good. That's wrong. <laughs> By the way, not only is it wrong, he was dead. Who? <laughs> Roosevelt was dead at the end of the war. Of World War II? It yes. Was, it was Taft, Rich. So, <laughs> oh. so if it wasn't Roosevelt. Honest Abe. Well, if it wasn't Roosevelt, who was it? Well, the end of World War II was in the. Uh, then it was Eisenhower. Was in what? In the fifties. <laughs> the end of <laughs> World War II was in the fifties. <laughs> yes. And, and right. if it wasn't, if it, it yeah. so you're now saying Eisenhower, right? I said Roosevelt, and you. All guys, right, he was wrong. So you're now saying Eisenhower. Well, why would you give me a second chance? I'm just asking. Uh, yeah, it was Roosevelt or All Eisenhower. Right. Wrong again. Now, now, who, <laughs> I can't be wrong twice. <laughs> the, yeah, because your choices were both wrong. The war ended with the dropping of of the atomic bombs. Yeah. Uh, who dropped the bombs? Who was the president that was in office when the bombs uh, dropped on Japan? <laughs> no. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Uh, no, uh, he wasn't the president. Hiroshima Nagasaki was uh, not our president. No, he's the commissioner of Japanese. Who baseball. was uh, the president during? Ouch. Uh, yeah. Why? I, was, I didn't hear it. He was Roosevelt's vice president. Oh, it was. What do you call it? Yeah. Good. It was uh, yeah. one forty-one. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you call it? Go ahead. Rose what do you call it? Roosevelt's vice president. Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on. I know you got this one. Our bud had more I brains knew. after the suicide. <laughs> What's that? Uh, nothing. Go ahead. Uh, Roosevelt's vice president. Obama. <laughs> Give us the answer, Rich. Inside, well, inside of your head, make us laugh some more. Swamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> As you think about it, Steve from Syracuse has something. Steve, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Well, I got to tell you, I was listening in the shower and answering the questions, and I think Voss. Originally, was you know you should be fueled on. Are you smarter than a preschooler? <laughs> and I think that if, if I think that if Harry Truman was alive right now, you'd be kicking Voss's ass. It was Truman. It was Truman. I knew uh, that. He just gave ah. the answer. Oh, he was talking about a guy he went to school with, Harry Truman. Yeah. Harry Truman. Was it Truman? Truman. <laughs> it's too late. It was Truman. Know, was no, it no, Truman? Nobody's, Truman. Really, too, nobody's you, really big on Rich, congratulations. Tribute. By the way, Steve wanted... President, he's probably one of the more memorable ones, being the one that, you know, dropped the atomic bombs. <laughs> By the way... <laughs> that, that, uh, Truman. That didn't actually bombs. end World War II. Oh, it Where's didn't? It did? Boy, and quickly. It did I mean, what was the World War... <laughs> Where uh, Germany fun. was going and taking, uh, you know, just out of control. That was, was World, World War II. II. Korean okay. War, Rich. That was World War II. Yeah. And World okay. War I. And then what was yeah. the war where the Japanese were involved and we dropped two atomic bombs? That was World War II where they got they hooked up with Germany. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, but but. Oh. Germany... <laughs> oh, no. Here comes the but. Maybe... Like, I'm not really on top of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> really? Yeah. By this, you I mean think, everything. <laughs> here's what happened. Yeah, I what think. happened? Germany was still go After we dropped the bomb, Germany didn't just say, hey, we're done. We still had to go in. Oh, my dear sweet Jesus on the cross. <laughs> oh, my dear sweet Lord. Whatever happened. So you you have no idea that, that Germany had already surrendered <laughs> and, and the war in, in Europe was over by the time we really concentrated uh, our forces over there in Japan and, I, and stuff. See, we beat the Germans yeah. first. Then we uh, beat the, the Japanese. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta read a little more. Yeah, you ask, gotta brush up. Ask me about. Do you think the ask Germans would just lay down their weapons after we bombed uh, Hiroshima? Steve from yes, they did. I want to get rid of Steve from Syracuse. <laughs> listening on ninety five X. Steve, you had a great line there. You want to use it or what? I say yeah, man. Go ahead. Voss, you need to go on. <laughs> you need to go on. Are you smarter than a preschooler, or maybe even are you smarter than a fetus? That's what I think. All right, oh sir. boy. Oh boy. 
Well, I mean, well, and I mean, as 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 a Jew, you should know these well, things. Well, ask me about the six day war. Never, long, never forget me, it. You with you, it's never ever new. Yes. Ask me how long <laughs> the six day war lasted. All uh, right. Six days. <laughs> Let's say hi to Mike in Jersey. Mike, that's actually a myth. Mike, huh? it didn't last for hey, six right. days. Right. Too much. You need to have boss on every week to do this because this is friggin' hilarious. Well, we don't and like he's to... being serious, by the way. Yes, you not... got a 60 on a fifth grade test today. That's not bad. It's a passing grade. He's not being ironic. Well, here's the no. deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to Matt in Pennsylvania. Matt. Oh. Hey, boss, could you spell IQ? <laughs> <laughs> A-Y-E. What, what does C-U-E. IQ stand for? Intellectual quotations. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> We've been searching for a long time. We found the new spaz. Intellectual. We got the new spaz in studio. Quotations. Well, it's, it's intellectual. Uh, whatever. The Q, I don't know. Intellectual <laughs> quiz. <laughs> <laughs> you say I'm queer. <laughs> oh, God. Intellectual quiz. Wow. IQ. What is it really? I don't know that Your one. IQ, which you are saying, is 141, 141. Yet you have no idea what IQ stands for. I, I, I know how to get to it on the internet. IQ test. IQ, intellectual quiz. What do you think it stands for? Quotient. Uh, intelligence Qu- quotient. Well, that's that same thing. <laughs> Intellectual, intellectual Inte- quiz. Intellectual um. quotation. <laughs> oh my God! Let's go to Dan and Philly. I love Rich Voss. Oh, Dan, go ahead. You guys gotta chain him to a chair and never let him leave. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Voss, you should get a nameplate for your death that says the schmuck stops here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go to Lori in Jersey. Lori. Hi. How are you? Hey. Good. Um, the thing is that, to be fair, uh, history classes, he might not be just, he just might not have the history, uh, down. He probably failed it when he was in school. What? But wow, he that might is... have failed history while he was in school. Oh, right, yes. Uh, but to be fair, um, fair. he is Jewish. I mean, you learn World War II history in Hebrew school, don't you? Did you go to Hebrew school? Did yeah, you go to I, Hebrew school? I didn't pay attention. I couldn't understand English. How am I going to understand Hebrew basically, school? She's basically, What's wrong with you? Basically yes. saying Voss is Jewish and doesn't know about World War II. I know, I, I know a lot about it. What uh, do you know about thank it? Thank you, Laurie. What's that? You didn't know who surrendered. I, I, know, I know Roosevelt didn't bomb the train. Was it Roosevelt or uh, who was the other one you're talking about? <laughs> Truman? You're naming people okay. who didn't bomb the Japanese. No, not to, <laughs> uh, Who didn't bomb what? I just want to know where you were going with that one. I love this World War II stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love I'm your sorry. World War II material. You're, you just go into your basement and live it every day. <laughs> Ken Burns has competition. I can't wait for your documentary there, Rich. <laughs> I'll tell you, listen, I'm serious. I'll take an IQ test here. Right, well, doing the internet? Not today. No. Because no, we got something. Oh, well, we can do that. Not yeah, today. we should definitely. We got do Max that. in Dallas. Max, go ahead. Hey, o and What's up, Dukas? Uh... I've got the perfect idea for you. A dumb off between Boss and Francine. Let's do it. Next week. A Great dumb idea. off. Can you come in next week? Yes. We're, we're working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next He'll week. Killer though. Yeah. I'll right. go with Bobby Kelly. who he thinks he's smarter Bob than is, me. Bobby Bob should be involved. Bob is as stupid as they come. <laughs> Bobby and he's always saying how dumb I am. I'm smarter than Bobby. Okay, I'll take Bobby on. That's not saying a lot. Bob All right, we're gonna get Bobby, we're gonna get you, and we're gonna get Francine. Hopefully next week. Can you guys try to make that happen immediately? Yeah. And we'll have a fifth grade exam. Uh no, we can have that. a real one. I'm talking this about This is a oh. real one, obviously. You got a sixty. Uh, you know what? I'm talking about some serious questions that, you know, these, oh, yeah, these ones... questions about World War II yeah. and then the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> yeah, that's trivial events of yeah, those uh, the are last just, century. I, those are just I'll dumb. You, You're right. I bet you can't explain right. the whole Bay of Pigs. What, it, what was it about? What, 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 what ha- I know. Can you? All right, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, what is it? What, happened what was the Bay, Bay of Pigs about? What happened Teach was... Us. Okay. Uh, we were over there. This is why Kennedy was assassinated. Because we were over there. We had a lot of money invested in casinos <laughs> and over there. And, and Castro was taken over, pushing out into uh, dictatorship. And we were going to lose all our money there. So the Pushing mob, out dictatorship. No, he was okay. pushing out the, the regime to take over as a dictator in the okay. country. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So the rebels were, wanted to overthrow Castro as this was happening. And was was seeking the help of America, 
and for, you know, you know, it's all history from there. <laughs> <laughs> I love just watching you unravel. I actually saw beads of sweat forming on your forehead in the middle I of the bed. Try to remember the Godfather. <laughs> the Godfather. <laughs> basically, well, I don't think it had much to do with casinos at that point. Yes. Yeah, I think well, it had to do with a, a communist country being uh, uh, ninety miles off of uh, Florida. Yeah, but the rebels um, didn't want to deal with Castro. He was just well, out of control. Well, we kind of didn't want to deal with Castro. Yeah, but if and, you know. and and there was a rebellion against Castro, but it wasn't very strong. So we said, "Look, we're going to give you guys a hand. We'll back you up if you take on uh, Castro. We'll train you. Uh, we'll give you support. We can't be directly involved." So it was a CIA kind of you know covert thing. I feel like I'm in school. I'm looking at the teacher right and, now. And and uh, when it finally happened, uh, we kind of hung him out to dry. And yeah. didn't give them the support that we promised them, and they wound up getting their uh, asses handed to them. And, didn't people and, think and it that, failed. Didn't people think that that was a secret deal cut to kind of to, to make the Cuban Missile Crisis uh, go away? I think uh, to make the Cuban Missile Crisis go away. Yeah, because uh, during the Cuban <laughs> right? Missile Crisis, and, Missile Crisis, I, they were pointing. Yeah, there is speculation that uh, all that's tied yeah, together. They, they, were pointed at us. they were pointed at. They were pointed at what? The, the missiles. All right, let's go to Tim in Pennsylvania. Tim, what's up? I just love in history. You should, have, you, should have, uh, you should have Coke Logic uh, do an animation with Rich Voss with a you know a World War II map behind him trying to explain all of this. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. I oh, think Coke that'd Logic, be great. Coke Logic will come up with some. Mark in New York, what's up? That's the best bit. Bravo, fellas. That's the best bit I've heard in weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> We're not even Rich. trying. It's just the basic crap. Fred in New York, what's up? Yes, his boss smarter than a crack baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go to uh, Tom in Jersey. Yeah, you got the phones lit there, uh, Rich. You're doing something right. Tom, what's up? What's going on? Hey. hey. Rich uh, is teaching special ed today, huh? Ooh. Well, so much for the phone. Mm. Uh, Joe, save us. Hey, boys. Hey. Hey, boys. Hey. I got a question for you, Richard. Who was the president when Kennedy was shot? Oh, that's a good question. When Kennedy, he was the president you, when Kennedy was shot. Of course he was. He was the I president. Do it. What kind of question is that? I got that one. He was trying to trick you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it was a trick question. And he almost had you. No. Hey, you know what? <laughs> There's a little There's a, You know, listen, eyes. let me explain something about me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I quit school. Okay. <laughs> but. Really? Mm -hmm. I I have 141 IQ. I know, like. <laughs> I never like, believe that. I, I will used, never I believe used to that. Run, I used to run a business. Like, you know what? Let me explain something. Dealing drugs is no. not a business. I used to, I used to have. I can, used we, to can, we take a, can we take an IQ test after the break? How long no, does it take? I, I, I say, I how, how long does it take? It does it take a while, and I'll he'd have it. to be sequestered somewhere. Um, can we put him in the, the glass booth? No, I'll, like yeah, I'll do that. Next week, we'll do the. Dude, I will put. I know you're not a gambler, but I will just leave $1,000, like, sitting over here. If you score more than a three, and if you score, <laughs> three, and if you get within ten points of one forty-one, you could just steal my money. It's not gambling. I'll just leave it here. It's just laying around. I understand you're in recovery, but so it's not a bet. That's but I good. will just leave a thousand dollars out, and I'll just leave it. I'll I'll leave and go. Oh, oh man, I forgot my money. No, first of all, here's how you do it. Leave GH's money. money alone. I don't. I don't want your money. What I want is you just to say vindication is what you want. because I when I was twenty one years old twenty before I went to the mental institution when I was twenty <laughs> around that area yeah I used to run I had seven guys working for me like I there's certain things I'm smart at you know what I mean like I used to run a business I had seven employees when I was twenty years old back then paying them like eight dollars now I used to I had contracts all over town painting houses and remodeling them and stuff okay and whenever i filled out a contract or picked up the money no one ever asked me okay so you're going to paint the peaks you're going to put shingles on and never threw in a world war ii question smart. you're street okay? smart i get it you, not street smart 